I stand uh, to make it very clear that I utterly oppose this motion and, uh, and also the amended motion now that um, uh, clearly the government has had their little discussions behind closed doors with the Greens to try and water down uh, the, their original motion. Uh, the reality is uh, the people have spoken on this issue. Uh, they made it abundantly clear on the 14th of October um, that they are tired of this type of virtue signalling. Uh, the, the, the polling, uh, the latest resolved polling um, in regards to treaty itself has gone from support of 58 per cent in October down to 33 per cent in November. Uh, and, and, and the support for the LaRue statement has completely nosedived. Uh, with this type of um, reality, where people have had a real gutful, it doesn't surprise me that Minns has made it clear to his own caucus He's made it clear to his own caucus uh, that beyond a listening tour, a consultation process for the treaty, he's not prepared to actually entertain a treaty. He'll take the findings and recommendations to the next election because he doesn't want to take the risk that Albanese has made because we can all see how well Albanese now is doing in the polls. Okay, Let's see who'll be the next Prime Minister because I can assure you before the next Liberal Prime Minister there'll be a couple more Labor. Um, uh, and, that, and I'm talking in the next 18 months because Albanese is finished as a result of him backing so vehemently um, the voice that ended up failing and not listening to the people of Australia. Uh, and, and I can see that Minns is a little bit smarter, OK? And that's why there was a very calm and measured response here um, uh, from the deputy leader uh, here. Uh, uh, of a government uh, where he made it clear that there was only a commitment to the listening tour at this stage, OK? And the government's not prepared to say what else they're going to commit to when it comes to this treaty. And the Greens need to realise that, uh, that uh, this government um, in itself will not be backing any major decisions around the treaty uh, before the next election. And I have to say this, even the $5 million will be better spent on, on actually redirecting that money to kids in vulnerable care, whether they're Indigenous or non-Indigenous. Why don't we actually put that money into where it's most needed? And that's the vulnerable families where children are in care. We've, we know that a large proportion of children in care in New South Wales are indeed Indigenous. And rather than paying consultants and some sort of tender to conduct a listening tour, I would think that that $5 million would be better spent directly helping um, Indigenous uh, kids that are vulnerable. Uh, but I'll say this, uh, One Nation will continue um, to stand with the people of New South Wales. 60% of people have said no um, to the voice and I have no doubt that even more, as we know with the latest polling, are completely opposed to the treaty.